If you want to improve your lap times in sim racing and you're looking for a telemetry tool which is nice and easy to understand and to use, then look no further because this video might be of interest to you. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing racedata.ai. Racedata.ai is a telemetry analysis tool and more that helps you understand telemetry by providing you the data in a very straightforward, easy to use user interface with some really interesting bits of data that can really help you get faster. More about that in a second. Before we get into it, for full disclosure, this video is sponsored by racedata.ai. They reached out to me because they saw that I've done a few other videos on how to improve your driving and using AI tools to improve your driving. Now, when they reached out to me and I told them I am down to do it as long as the video is about providing an honest review of the product because I want to bring to my community products that I would myself use and benefit from in my day-to-day -day sim racing life. And uh, after testing this product, I felt like I would actually use this product and so I got back to them and I said, it's on, I will make the review, but you will get no editorial rights and I will say what I genuinely think about it. And if that's not okay with you, I'm not doing it. The company agreed and decided to go for it and to support me, even though I am basically going to say pretty much exactly what I think about this product, they've had zero editorial rights over this video. With that out of the way, let's check out the company's website, see what they're offering, and then let's check out their telemetry logger and their telemetry user interface to see exactly how this company is trying to make telemetry accessible to the average user in sim racing. All right, so we're on race data's website. Important question, where can it be used? So far, it's available on iRacing and Assetto Corsa, and soon they will also integrate Formula 124, Formula 123, and Assetto Corsa Competizione. Of course, they have a Discord channel, which is linked here. I will also link it in the description. As you can see, um, a lot of their uh, interface when it comes to telemetry analysis is very user friendly with a very nice UI with straightforward way to visualize the data. So just like any other telemetry tool, you will have to make an account and download their telemetry data logger, which will basically analyze your laps while you drive. And then after your stint, you can go back and analyze all the data. The cool thing that I really liked and that we will see very soon is that uh, they divide each track in multiple sectors, I believe more sectors than there actually are on the track, breaking down corner by corner and showing you exactly how much time you're losing where. Racedata.ai has both free and paid plans. The free plan is ideal for a casual sim racer and also for somebody who wants to test the app. You get one game supported, you can store up to 10 stints, you get basic lap analysis and track visualization. Community Plus and Racer Pro give you the same features, but either with extended storage, for example, you can store up to 50 stints in Community Plus, or you can store unlimited stints in Racer Pro, as well as more advanced lap uh, analysis. I believe the main selling point for Racer Pro is that you get one free coaching session, and Racer Pro, I think, will also be ideal for somebody who races on multiple simulators, whilst I believe the main selling point for Community Plus, which is $3 a month, is the advanced lap analysis and the ghost mode. Racer Master, which is the most expensive tier, gets you all the features of Racer Pro, plus additional features such as AI racing tips, full weather and track analysis, team collaboration tools. However, bear in mind that this app was very recently released. In fact, as you can see, some of the features will only be available as of March, April, and May 
2025. The features include stint recording, map view, a calculation of your theoretical best lap, analysis with former sessions, zones of focus, basic AI tips, analysis of your performance based on your fuel level, on your track conditions, on weather conditions. There is a community feature with leaderboards, meaning that you can view public laps and compare yourself to other drivers but that is not available just yet. You can also book a private coaching session through the app, add your teammates and compare yourself to them. And whilst some of these features have not been released just yet, the highest membership tier allows the user to test new features in early access. The team has been very useful in answering all my questions about the app. Most importantly, they have a Discord channel where you can just pop in and ask for support if needed. And so essentially what you have to do is make an account, log in. Once you're logged in, you head over to the menu and you download the data logger. As you can see, the download starts immediately and uh, it's very easy to install and to get running. Once you've done that, this is what the data logger looks like. You're going to want to activate it. You will have to pick your simulator. This is your username. And if both of these um, uh, statuses are green, you're ready to record your stint. Now, let's go ahead and do a stint in the LMP3 at Phillips Island and let's see what the telemetry analysis looks like. Alright guys, I took a first look at the app and the first thing that you can see once you have put in your first stint to try and improve your lap time is that on the uh, interface, on the main interface, you can see here in the bottom right corner that now your stint has been recorded. So what you do is you click on analyze session and that brings you into the session itself. Now, the lap that's automatically selected as your reference lap as you can see is the fastest one that's lap number seven now changing the reference lap is very simple all you do is click on reference lap and you can pick any of these laps to be the reference now i'm trying to get faster so my reference lap is going to be my best lap on this uh, during this stint on this track so far now, the first thing that I want to try and understand is where am I making the most mistakes, aka where can I gain more time? And what I really like about this app is that you can figure that out in a very easy way, literally at a glance, because when I compare the reference lab to other labs, as you can see, the various sectors that raise data compares in this telemetry analyzer tool are either green or red depending on whether you have improved or worsened in your uh, in the lab that, that you're analyzing compared to the reference lab so for example if i look at laps number 8 through 11 i can easily identify that sectors two, three, and five tend to be my biggest problem. And sometimes in one is in sector number six as well. So I know I've got to work on this sector, number two, this sector, number three, and sector number five, especially if I want to match my best time. Now, the cool thing is that if you click on one of those sectors, let's take, for example, uh, this lap right here where I got very close to my personal best. I was only three tenths slower. Let's pick the sector where I was the slowest, sector two. We click on that. And as you can see, you get a very, very user friendly analysis of what you did in uh, those two laps that you're comparing in this specific sector so that you can actually learn from your mistakes and pick the better line and the better th uh, throttle and braking curves in order to repeat 
uh, those specific inputs and match your best time. So as you can see right here, the track view is very, very clear. Those indicators, the, um, the red and the green indicators offer some very interesting data visually, and that's your fastest and slowest points on track for these two laps. So as you can see, my fastest point in both cases, it's right here and it's 251 kilometers an hour in the selected lap and 252 kilometers an hour in the reference lap. Now here you can see the lowest point. So the point where I was the slowest during this corner, which is a very important concept because your lowest point and let's say the point of slowest speed on a corner, on any given corner, on any given track, you want to try and maximize that without losing grip. So as you can see in the reference, I was actually a bit slower and in the selected lap, I was actually a little bit faster. So it's quite interesting that in the selected lap, I actually lost some time, but it seems that in the selected lap throttle is actually um, slightly pressed, 34% uh, uh, pressed here, which means that I most likely ended up understeering and that mid corner I should not, under any circumstances, be on throttle, given that I actually braked pretty much at the exact same time in both laps. I can already see all that information just by glancing literally at this. I haven't even looked at the graphs yet. And I find that extremely, extremely helpful. Looking at the graphs, the information is displayed in a very clear way. If you move the graph, um, the cars move on the track as well, showing you clearly the point that you're analyzing. The steering wheels here, offer a very, very clear analysis of your steering angle and gearing are very similar, but you can tell that the problem right here in this sector is mostly down to throttle, where in fact, as I mentioned earlier, literally just by looking at the map, I just accelerated out of the corner way too soon, which tells me that my acceleration point should be later. And so this is all information that is very nice and easy to see. And another cool thing that race data offers is this, the ABS and the traction control activation points. Now this tool has a community feature as well. So as you can see, there are leaderboards and there's also a share button that will allow you to share your times, your telemetry with other users. Now the share function is not yet available. As you can see, if I click on it, nothing happens. In the future, there will be uh, the ability to compare your laps to other drivers. There are leaderboards as well. So if you click on leaderboards here, you can see that uh, there's three filters, uh, simulator, track and the car type, and then you'll get the fastest lap times in that category. One further interesting thing is that this app will become a repository of uh, setups as well. It's already doing that effectively for Assetto Corsa. As you can see, if we click on that, there are multiple setups. Um, and basically, if you click on any of those, the setup will be automatically downloaded. What I'm not sure is where the setup information is shown, because if I click on it, as you can see, the setup is automatically downloaded, but what is missing here is some information about the setup itself. As such, I'm not sure what it is that I'm actually downloading. So I went and asked Raise Data for more information about this feature, and they mentioned that currently setups are limited, and there's only one type of setup per car and track for Assetto Corsa, but that aggressive and also balanced or safe setups will arrive soon, and that this feature 
is planned to be expanded into a fully fledged setup sharing platform for the community and for teammates. This they mentioned should be delivered around June 2025. And so guys, after analyzing my first stint, I headed back out on track, applied what I learned, and I was quickly able to improve my lap time. Now, this was definitely possible thanks to the very straightforward telemetry analysis provided by Race Data. I really, really liked this aspect of the app. I really appreciate what this company is trying to do, and I think that they have done that well so far. I think that with an active user base, this tool could become very useful to sim racers at all levels. I will continue to use this tool for my own training. And for those of you who are interested in trying this app, racedata.ai is giving away five paid membership to five LDFR sim racing viewers and if you want to enter this giveaway, follow the instructions in the pinned comment. Of course, we cannot ignore the fact that whilst there is a solid basis for telemetry analysis at this point in time within this product, there is uh, a series of features that are still missing because they haven't yet been fully developed. I look forward to following these developments, especially the development of the setup sharing and of the AI training coach. I believe that if these two features are done correctly, this uh, platform has a lot of potential and the higher price tiers will be more justified even for an average or a casual user. In the meantime, if you're looking for a low difficulty, straightforward, easy to use tool to analyze your laps and gain some lap time, do give the free version of racedata.ai a go. I think you will most likely enjoy it. And by all means, let me know your thoughts in the comments. That's it for today, guys. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, consider liking, consider subscribing. Don't forget to enter the giveaway if you're interested. And as always, have a great week and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.